Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are just going to be tackling my pantry. It's an absolute mess. I have not been able to go in there to clean or to restock for like two months. It's just been a very busy summer. I've been spending a lot of time in my garden and with friends, um, like from our homeschool group. And I've got fiddle lessons for Naomi, piano lessons for Judah, and I'm grocery shopping and I'm out with my chickens, feeding my chickens and cleaning out the hen house. You name it, y'all. There's never a dull moment. So we are going to go in there. I need to restock all my snack baskets and containers. A lot that needs to be decluttered and just thrown away in there. Um, I have recently bought some new baskets to put in there uh, that I bought from Hobby Lobby. So I can hardly wait to see what those are going to look like in there. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to clean or organize an area of your home along with me. And oh, and I want to thank all my new subscribers that I've gotten uh, within the past few days. Thank you so much for joining my YouTube family. I am so grateful to have you. Let's get into that pantry. Okay, guys, so we've got cereal and crackers and chips, granola bars, fruit cups, um, drinks, all these things need to be put in a place. I'm going to take the can um, organizers off the countertop. I don't want anything up here. I want it nice and clear for whenever I need to refill my containers. Um, other than this coffee maker that Keith um, put here, I don't want anything else up here. There are some containers back here that I need to do something with. I need to fill both of these glass jars. I need to put that somewhere. There are potato seeds on the shelf here. I'm pretty sure that was my husband that left those there. <clears throat> this is about empty. Um, we've got chocolate chips and cookies that need to be put away, more containers. Um, I can fill a few more of these plastic containers here. I need to fill my cereal containers. I've got some rice that needs to be put in containers. Brown sugar, I'm, I've got one bag here left that I need to put in there. I need to remember to grab more cranberries at the grocery store. I'm probably just gonna put, um, we've got some granola with um, raisins. I'll probably put those in there or that in there. And then I'm going to fill these baskets with snacks. And yeah, and oh yes, paper towels. I need to also stack those right here on the shelf. And I just noticed Marshall's stool here. That cannot be a good thing because, gee, I wonder what he was getting into. Oh yeah, it's empty. That little stinker. He is always getting in here and sneaking food, you guys, between him and Gabriel. This is why Keith and I had to put a lock on the door. <laughs> Bins down here, I'm going to switch out. I bought some new baskets from Hobby Lobby. I got four, I'll show you here in just a second. But I'm gonna be doing a hall closet makeover and I'm gonna switch these for the woven baskets. I'm gonna bring those in here and then put these in my closet in a later video. But it's gotten really cluttery. <laughs> Probably not to you guys. I was supposed to put these down in the basement. Haven't done that yet. So I don't know. I'm gonna probably, since Keith is here, it's a Sunday, I'm probably gonna have him bring those down to the basement because I just, they're just taking up so much room. And then this here is full of quick oats. Um, it's kind of handy having it up here because we're constantly having to fill. Um, it's empty right now, but our quick oat jar there because we eat oatmeal like it's going out of style, you guys. Keith eats it like every morning and my kids eat it all the time too, so. 
And then I'll probably fill, <clears throat> I'll probably fill a few of these mason jars with maybe more granola. So I just wanted to show you guys the baskets that I got at Hobby Lobby. Ah, come here. Like I said, I got four and they were each $29.99. I know they're pretty pricey, but they're really pretty and I thought they'd look really nice in here, much better than the ones that I have here already in here already. So yeah. All right, let's get to organizing. So y'all found my stash <laughs> no we only use this whiskey for like bartering we do not drink other than like if there's a special occasion maybe for our anniversary or something if we go to a special restaurant we might have a glass of wine but yeah we are not drinkers but I will be probably putting this whiskey down with my um, like our food storage down in our basement. I'm thinking that these woven baskets are gonna look so much nicer in here than these cloth baskets, but I will be still using the cloth baskets for my hall closet makeover that I'm going to be doing here hopefully um, very soon. <laughs> but I think that those will be perfect for like holding towels and rags and stuff like that. and. They're just not visually as attractive as the woven baskets that I bought. And they just didn't look very appealing in here. Can somebody please tell me if it's woven or woven? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I honestly don't know. So let me know in the comments. <laughs> So for those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Farah. I'm a stay-at-home mom to seven children. I homeschool six of them. My oldest is 20, he's a Marine. This will be my second year um, homeschooling my children. I have been married to my best friend Keith for 22 years. We live out in the country, in the backwoods, where we absolutely love it. My content mainly consists of cleaning and organization but I love to throw in a grocery haul or a shop with me or a vlog on occasion. But if you're enjoying this video and if this content interests you, feel free to subscribe and join my YouTube family. It's free. So we ended up freeing up a lot of space in these baskets and putting some of these kitchen contraptions up on the shelf here. And it just gave us a lot more room for the baskets. And um, when we were done, one of the baskets was completely empty. So that was a good feeling. <laughs> it will be the perfect place for all my new cleaning supplies. So this is my husband Keith and he's always so helpful when I have to do something that requires uh, lifting something heavy. <laughs> this is like a 50 pound bag of quick oats and yeah there was no way I was going to be able to pick that thing up so he's pouring that into this big container and yeah really really convenient. Um, because now the oats will stay fresh rather than being in that bag, so.
I don't know if y'all can tell how tired I am in this video, but it was really late. We, it, we didn't end up getting to bed till like, it was almost four o'clock when we went to bed, but we meant to get this um, pantry organized earlier in the day and every time we had attempted, we would experience interruptions from the kids. You know, you gotta stop for lunch, you gotta stop for dinner and this is a big job. It, we ended up, it was a lot more work than it looks like, y'all. <laughs> like I said, we were really behind on the pantry. It needed a lot of decluttering. And so we ended up jumping back in here after we had gotten the kids to bed. And one thing led to another and we weren't in bed until nearly four o'clock AM. <laughs> totally lost track of time. And I remember saying <laughs> to Keith, do you realize it's three in the morning? And he's like, what? <laughs> be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down until you saved me until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else take me no one will ever take me away from you i promise i will hold on to you i don't know what i'd do without you mm, without you you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high So my daughter Naomi just recently surprised me with her new little um, YouTube channel. I had no idea <laughs> that she could edit or anything. <laughs> um, but anyway, she surprised me with um, her very first little YouTube short. 
and she's actually done several since it's been i don't know maybe a week and a half or something like that but her channel name is daily shorts with naomi and she's actually doing a really good job and i know that she would be so happy if y'all went over there and subscribed to her channel maybe left her a comment here and there give her a thumbs up um, i would so appreciate it as well and mop right now before I do anything else. Y'all, please don't look too closely at the tan lines on my feet. <laughs> I meant to either wear socks or slippers, and I totally forgot to paint my toenails. <laughs> they look awful. clearing this countertop space off my daughter Naomi suggested that I like start decorating this area and making it like a coffee bar and I th just thought that was the cutest idea so I'll probably be buying like a coffee stand and hanging some coffee cups on it and maybe a couple coffee signs and just making this area look really really cute should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind should old acquaintance hey guys we are finally done it looks so much nicer in here i have my countertop pack And now, hopefully, I will sleep tonight. Just after I get all the sugar out from between my toes. <laughs> so Keith and I decided to keep these two uh, bins in here because uh, we will probably be using them pretty often, so we're just gonna keep them in here for now, but I think the can organizers look so much better right there on the floor. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe, and I shall see y'all in the next video.
拜。